Hi guys, welcome to God Knot. Today I want to share a God Knot that St. Dominic had. St. Dominic is known as the saint that Mary appeared to and gave the devotion of the rosary to. But I'm not going to share that story. I'm going to share a different story of St. Dominic and his encounter of how powerful the rosary is. While St. Dominic was preaching about the devotion to the rosary, there was one time he was preaching to about 12,000 people. And during this time, there was a man that was possessed by demons that got dragged into him. And they were like, hey, like, help this man out. And so he stops preaching about the rosary. And this man, you know, this possessed man is sitting in front of everyone. And St. Dominic starts praying over this man, right? And while he is doing this, the demons inside of him confess several things. One thing that they confessed was that there were over 15,000 demons inside of this man. That's right. 15,000. Crazy. The second thing that they said was that by St. Dominic preaching the rosary, that he was putting a whore into hell and that they hated him most because of how many souls that they were snatching from him, snatching from the demons um, through his devotion to Mary. Crazy, right? So just through his devotion to Mary, he was snatching souls from hell and bringing them to the Lord. And then St. Dominic took his rosary put it around this man's neck and ask the devils to tell him of all the saints in heaven, which one that the demons feared the most. And the devils would not answer. What an answer for anything. And so St. Dominic got on in his knees, prayed to Mary to demand these devils to answer this one simple question. And then flames of fire shoots out from this man's nose, mouth, and ears. And the devils still didn't answer. And so then Mary comes with her angels with a golden rod and strikes the man and says, answer my servant Dominic at once. And then the devil started speaking. I'm not even going to try to paraphrase what these demons said. It's just too bomb to just not read to you guys. So I'm just going to read it to you guys. So this is what the devils said back in response to St. Dominic's question of who should men pray to the most and who do the demons fear of all the saints in heaven? This is what they said. They said, Then listen well, you Christians. The mother of Jesus Christ is all-powerful, and she can save her servants from falling into hell. She is the sun which destroys the darkness of our wiles and subtlety. It is she who uncovers our hidden plots, breaks our snares, and makes our temptations useless and ineffectual. We have to say, however, reluctantly, that not a single soul who has really persevered in her service has ever been damned with us. One single sigh that she offers to the Blessed Trinity is worth far more than all the prayers, desires, and aspirations of all the saints. We fear her more than all the other saints in heaven together, and we have no success with her faithful servants. Many Christians who call upon her when they are at the hour of death and who really ought to be damned according to our ordinary standards are saved by her intercession. Only, if, oh, if only that Mary had not pitied her strength against ours and ha had not upset our plans, we should have conquered the church and should have destroyed it long before this. And we would have seen to it that all the orders in the church fell into error and disorder. Now that we are forced to speak, we must also tell you this. Nobody who perseveres in saying the rosary will be damned because she obtains for her servants the grace of true contrition for their sins. And by means of this, they obtain God's forgiveness and mercy. Like what? Is that not crazy? All of that what the devil said. I just want to point out two things. First, they talked about how one single sigh from Mary to the Holy Trinity is worth more than all of the saints prayers. Like, what? Like, Mary should be one of our best friends. Like, Mary is a, is a pretty powerful woman. Second is they talk about how if anyone who perseveres in praying the rosary will never be damned. So, like, guys, take your rosary and pray it. Carry it with you because it is one heck of a weapon. Okay, so you're probably wondering what happened next. Like, what happened to the rest of the story? Well, St. Dominic led the entire crowd, the 12,000 people there watching, in a rosary. And with each Hail Mary that they prayed, more and more demons came out of this man. And the demons came out of this man in the appearance of red hot coals. So, 
by the end of the rosary, all of the demons were out of this man. And in fact, there were so many heretics in the crowd that so many of them got converted because of this one miracle. So the point of sharing this guy out of St. Dominic is to show you just how powerful this rosary can be if you run to Mary with your intercessions. Because just one little sigh, one little sigh from Mary to the Holy Trinity, that's how powerful it is. And so know that the rosary is not just, you know, something you pray, but it is a spiritual weapon, right? So anytime you're scared or whatever, like keep your rosary close to you, pray to Mary because the devil absolutely hates Mary. And the second you start praying the Hail Mary, the demons flee. Also, shout out to my friend David Ladon for revealing the story for me because it just knowing the story just gives me that confidence of how much Mary cares about me and loves me and is praying for me to Jesus, right? And so thank you, David. Also, I hope you guys um, also increase your confidence in Mary's intercession by watching this God night. And if you have a saint story that you want to be revealed, send it my way and I will try to get it up on here. Subscribe, comment, like, share, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching.